All right. It's been a been a minute since we've done these videos and no real setup. I'm just going to kind of talk from the heart. And I want to lead with uh, Kobe Bryant on a really dope quote that he had. And it says that the most important thing is to try and inspire people so they can be great in whatever they want to do. So they can be great at whatever they want to do. Let's talk about these Nike layoffs and I'm gonna be talking from a real place. Let's go. All right, all right. So, thank you for tuning in. My name is Noan El Boricua. And you're watching, and this is what this podcast is all about. It's about cultura. It's about faith. It's about conexiones. So culture, faith, connections, all of this in my daily life that fuels my pasión, my passion to do what I do every day, to be a great husband, a father, you know, citizen, co-worker, a great leader here within the church. Man, hey, it's a lot. Now, full disclosure, my job did not ask me to make this video. Full disclosure. My video and my opinion that I'm about to express to each and every one of you does not express that that of my employer. So if you don't know, you do know I've worked for Nike. It's now 23 years that I've been at the brand. I've been at Nike for a minute. I think some of you guys could see the, well, maybe you can't, it's kind of blurred out. But I have like different plaques of different years. And I'm excited because I'm coming up on my Kobe year, 24 years soon. And this week has been heavy. At the time of this recording, I... You know, I don't know or do know that I'm safe uh, as far as the layoffs are going. And I'm not going to get into those details. Um, I will say that working at any company, there's always going to be really highs and lows of dynamics. And I think that's um, good and bad, right? The beauty of understanding the dynamics, but the bad of something making some really hard decisions in order to be able to go forward. Subject for another day. I want to de dedicate this video to a few people that I recently learned that they are no longer here at the brand. And I just kind of wanted to say a thank you video. Look, there's a lot of colleagues that I know that I can make videos on, but I want to just focus on three. I'm not trying to take away from anybody else, but if you're watching this video, um, I, I hope you can like it and maybe share it with them. Uh, I'm going to try to tag them. But more importantly, I think for me, it's been tough. I mean, if you've been at a company where it's kind of like just surfing the waves, it's it's tough. You sometimes don't know how the waves are going to react. All you can do is be secure on your own surfboard. Trust the skills that you've had. Make sure all the hours you've put in will set you up for the perfect uh, ride on that surf and on that wave. I'm going to break this into like, three categories and it's going to be the categories of what this podcast is all about um but i'm not going to go in the particular order that i usually do i think uh the the first one that i want to kind of touch on it's on the culture you know, not the culture but the the pillar of faith and on this pillar of faith i want i'm not going to try to get emotional either man because there's been a couple times this week that i've gotten a little emotional which it is all right to do that uh, but, you know, when I'm trying to convey a message and dedicate this to uh, these people, I just want to make sure I can keep it together. Uh, Bill Spigner, you have been truly, you know, from afar, because I know you're not here in Cali in L.A., but from afar, Bill, you have been a, a true example and a true pillar of what it means to advocate for the underrepresented to be able to advocate and elevate the voices that are not being heard. And I want to thank you personally because um, many of you don't know this, but I got a chance to meet Bill Spigner when he uh, became the store manager of back in the day, Nike Town LA, uh, or those knew it as Nike Town Beverly Hills, but we knew it as Nike Town LA. And when Bill came into our door, he came to really uh, man, he just brought an amaz amazing energy. And if you know Bill, you know what I'm talking about. And Bill, really, when, when I think about Bill, 
I think about this pillar of faith. Yeah, I said faith. Because Bill made me believe the God-given skill sets and, and gifts that God has given me to be the person that I am today. You know, I, I shared this in, in a post that one of the things I remember in the dynamic conversations that Bill, you would have with, that one day, Bill, we were by the elevators, by the loading dock, and Bill just told me, fall back. And it was a trust fall. And he literally was like, dude, just fall back. And I remember I fell back and the conversation that we had was, how did that feel? And why did I trust? And why can I trust in myself and trust in what you know God has given us as gifts? And I knew that Bill, you just different. And I know many, you know, look up to you, Bill, as a big brother, as a great friend, as an amazing leader. I just want to say that God truly blessed us to have you, Bill, especially here at Nike. I think for me, when I think about Fio Pasión and I think about that pillar of faith, it's people like you that has given people like us the opportunity to see that we do have these gifts and that we do have these skill sets that God has given us and that we should lean into that faith that we can do this work. And I want to say thank you, Bill. We've had some really amazing conversations, even around faith. Um, I think Passion of the Christ was an amazing conversation that we once had. And it, it's just dope. I mean, Bill, you have an amazing voice. I, I'm surprised you don't have videos on karaoke or things of that nature. But I think the fact that you're really at this closure of where you're at in your journey, I, I want to hopefully say on behalf of all of us, thank you, Bill, for always being you. Bill, thank you. Muchas gracias, la verdad, de que la pasión, your passion, has truly been shown and, and implemented in everyone, no matter if they're at the brand or no longer at the brand. Like, people are blessed because of you and your faith in us and also just faith in humanity. Like, I think for me, you, you even reaffirmed my faith in God many times because I knew that there's greater things to come. And I only know that's the same for you, Bill. All right. So the next one is going to be on, this one might be tough. Ugh, this one's going to be tough. When I think of conexiones, connection, there's no other person that William Allo. Us, it's because of you that there is comunidad, community here at the retail level of many of our frontline workers that work in stores. Us is you, Allo, that you've been that true uh, brand affinity spark and it's beyond the brand. You truly have a passion to serve others. When I think of Simon Sinek and I think of that servant leadership, my brother, that page should be a photo of you. And I'm grateful to have served community all over LA and Orange County. I am grateful the fact that, you know, you have an amazing attitude. You truly want to see others succeed and win and let me tell you, we have a really good time. There's too many stories to be told about all of myself. But brother, I'm grateful for you because you truly are a leader of your people, but also a leader of community. So when I think of connections, conexiones, it's people like you that I need in my life. It's people like all of that we all need to be able to lean in when we have what we like to call that board of directors or your circle of influence. You need that one person that truly connects to you on a very human level and that can be able to tell you how it is. But at the end of the day, to be able to show you all the love that all knows how to give. And all I know that this is waters that we're navigating and you know that we're here for you. But I just want to let you know. Is because of your conexiones que seguimos pa'lante, that we continue to go forward. And I'm excited to see what you're going to do next. I can't wait to see how you're going to elevate your brand and who you are. Look, all of the people that I'm going to mention here, it's not about the company you're at. It's a, it, Yes, it's a platform, but it's really who you are and what God has given you as a talent, as a gift. And what have you done to either sharpen it? What have you done to, un, un, you know, discover it or, or take it back? And what have you done to now pivot and now really make sure you're going forward in a straight line? Yes, highs and lows, but we're failing forward. We're going forward. Alo, you're the reason why I do what I do for many of my community people. And it's because of the fact that you set that example, sir. I need you to continue to do that. 
Um, for those that are in the L.A. area, if you're ever doing football, Pop Warner High School, just know that William Allo might be out there throwing some yellow flags, uh, you know, on the plays. But Allo, I'm just excited for what you have to do. And I'm so grateful Luz, for all that you've done in my life, as well as all of our Nike retail athletes here in L.A. and Orange County and beyond. Look, people say that pandemic really challenged us, and it did 100 percent. But I also want to let you know that technology was the beauty because this last person that I just kind of want to mention is someone that I met via Zoom. It was someone that I had a chance to be always online with and to be able to serve our Latin community through the Latino Friends Network here at the brand. And that person is none other than uh, Francisco Estrada, or as we know him as Cisco. Cisco, man, where do I begin? Look, I've had the chance to meet people like Bill, people like Olo in person, but I never got to meet Cisco in person. But it was something about my New York brother out there in the East Coast that every time he shows up on a call, he is intentional. He's very sharp at what we're trying to get after. But more importantly, he's always advocating para nuestra comunidad latina latino. Like, yo, it's people like Cisco that, to me, really uh, challenged me and kind of pushed me. And, and, and I hope you see the kind of the common theme here. Every individual that I've mentioned and even the individual that I haven't mentioned, you all have kind of pushed me forward to really understand the importance of the value of who we are, the skills and the gifts that we have, and how we constantly need to showcase them and advocate for ourselves. And Cisco, that is you, my brother. Look, let me tell you a start. We went to Latitude. Uh, back in San Diego a couple years ago, and it was a great event. If you've never checked out Latitude, I've talked about it a couple times, kind of met somebody you guys might know. Uh, I had a chance to meet Cisco. And my colleagues from our LA office, when they were with me, um, <laughs> as soon as I saw Cisco, see, people thought we have met before. This was our first time meeting in person, which, by the way, Oya Bobby, I thought you were like maybe 5'10", my guy over here towering well over six feet. Your boy's only 5'3". So I remember it was kind of like a bromance moment. I think if we were going in slow motion, you would have seen us. But we we dropped our bags. We ran. It, it was a it was just a dope moment of brotherhood. Uh, y hermano, te aprecio tanto. La verdad que lo que tú eres como esposo, como papá, como líder, like all of that good stuff. Um, it, it just really motivated me in these past couple of years in serving our Latin community here at the brand. Um, and also in the community uh, is because of you, Cisco. Cisco, I know that, um, man, you, we, we've exchanged messages already. Um, I tip my cap to you. And I just want to say thank you so much because truly you are about la cultura. Bill truly shown me about reinforcing the faith, right? And the work that I do and the things that we do. And Allo really ensured the importance of those conexiones, of connecting with community and with each other, and how do we elevate and advocate, and which Cisco, for me, was and is cultura. I want to say thank you, and I know maybe you thought this video was going to be something else, but I think a lot of times we don't say thank you to the people. And look, if you know someone that's been laid off, regardless if it's at Nike or any other company, and you're on LinkedIn, y'all do them a solid. Like, recommend them, highlight skills that they have. All of that will help out as many of our colleagues that as they're navigating this. And I know it's a, it's a word that we keep using, navigating. I guess that is the best word we can use. But I also know that we need to pause. And we need to take time to acknowledge how we feel and to see where God is going to take us. And sometimes that takes time. Don't rush to apply. Don't rush to do your resume. We're here for you. So aside from the colleagues that I had a chance to do life with at some point of my journey, maybe there's some people you know. Maybe they need you to actually call them. Or maybe just text. Or maybe just comment on a post. I think for us, it's okay to be human in the moment of how we feel. I am grateful for this company that has done their best. Look, no one ain't perfect, but they've done their best to really be intentional in how do we say goodbye to our colleagues. Always difficult. It's hard. 
But here's the beauty. You know, I wanted to work for this company since I was 16 years old, and that dream was fulfilled. Many of us are still in the dream of this career that we're at. And for many of us as of late or in the past couple of years, we've woken up to a reality that the dream is over. But hear me out. Yes, you wake up to a reality that the dream is no longer there, but you wake up to a reality that you have skills, you have this gift, you have these insights and knowledge that you got to learn and grow within the dream. My challenge to you now is to bring it together, formulate it, and how do we deliver that to the next journey that you're gonna be on. Maybe it's your own journey of your own entrepreneurship, maybe the consultant, maybe it's working for another company. I know that whoever gets a chance to hire you, they're gonna be in amazing hands. Look, I can tell you, I'm a testimony to that. I'm a, I'm a witness to the greatness of Bill, Allo, Cisco, as well as many of my other colleagues that are no longer with us. There are so many to name, and I'm just so grateful for all of you. And I really hope that this video has been okay. And if you're watching it up until now, thank you so much. Um, we're getting excited. Uh, we're almost getting ready to drop the new season of Feel Pasión. It's gonna be all around coffee and why that feels so much pasión for people within the cultura, faith, and conexiones. Check us out on the website. And more importantly, make sure you phone a friend, send a message, and let them know how much you acknowledge them, you appreciate them, and um, maybe just be a shoulder there to cry on. Muchas gracias, la verdad, y que pueden seguir adelante. Y como dice mi abuelita, que Dios te bendiga.